paste it. I will just paste it for, for time reasons, just for five machines. The ping command you need also between every single script file. And we can modify the um, the timeout here. I just took a quarter of a second, 250 milliseconds. So that when the first tab has been opened up, the it waits five seconds, opens the second tab, then it just waits 250 milliseconds, opens the third tab, and so on. So, um, of course, we have to change the name of the scripts. Into one, two, three, four, five. Save the batch file. Double check if secure CRT isn't open up. Okay, it's closed. And start it. As you can see, secure CRT opens up, connects to router 1. Router 2, router 3, router 5. And as you can see, we are locked onto router 1, router 2, router 3, and router 5. That's what we want to accomplish here. So finally, I will show you my completes, my complete batch file. I got it here. It's the same as we developed here, just with uh, every single every single device. Um, of course, I gotta change this one here to a host of my LAN segment. I will use the replace feature here: 192.3.4. Replace it with 192.168.186.1.50. Uh, replace them all. And so that's it. So, and right at the back here, we, you can see I just put the script names into here, R1, R2, R3, and so on, to up to switch 4. So let me show you how the script's working. Uh, or let's say the batch file. <laughs> I just also say script, but the batch file is firing up the, uh, the script files. So make sure that secure CRT, okay, it's closed. And I will just hit enter. Secure CRT opens up, router one is connected. Then the others should follow. Two, three, four, five, switch one, two, three, four. And we are connected to every single device of the topology. Now I think that's quite awesome. Because it saves you a lot of a lot a lot a lot of time, and um, yeah, of course, when when you now when you make your session and um, you can see you just change the name into RS Rec fifteen, when you have to set up a new session, maybe with um, let's say RS Rec twenty three for example, then of course when using a Notepad plus plus here. Again, search for files. You have to search for routing switching rec 15. Not the R1 here, that's very important. Just for the rec ID, RS rec 15. We have to search for this, for, for the old rec number, replace it with, with the new rec number. 23, for example. Hit replace them all and all of your 10 scripts, uh, the login name of all your 10 scripts is replaced. So, if you want to um, get further knowledge of uh, scripting within Secure CRT, then you can go to the to the website of the um, of the developers. Just go into Google and hit uh, Van Dyke Software, and you can also add um, scripting here. And that should point you to vendikesoftware.com with Vendike Software Scripting Essentials. And there is a PDF file you can view or download. And um, let's do this here. And there it is, the user's guide for scripting essentials, uh, scripting essentials within Secure CRT. They covered uh, really a ton of stuff here. And it's creating scripts, launching scripts, remote machines, and whatever you want to do. You can do this with the uh, VBS scripts. 
and um, so good for now I hope you enjoyed it and um, feel free to comment on that video or to comment on my uh, on my blog which is um, chasing chasing my ccie.wordpress.com I will put the video up here and um, yeah thanks for watching